Hi everyone, Mossimo here from the Blue Root team. And today I have a really new and exciting video. A lot of you have been asking for it. I'm actually surprised by the amount of requests. And basically what that is, is blueprints and more specifically parallel transition in the blueprint. So that's something Zoho just brought out. It's really neat. It'll help a lot of businesses, but it's a little confusing. So in today's video, I'm gonna go through at a high level how a blueprint works then also how the parallel transitions work and where they can be used as always please like comment subscribe we'd love hearing from you guys and also i would encourage you to join our inner circle so it's something you'll see a link below it's a new initiative we're doing but we're totally committed to the long run on it and basically what it is is it's a one-time fee you join our community you get all of our best practices all of our recommended partners all of our apps at a discount so we have an app bundle that you can buy and also my favorite, 10 plus years of data in terms of how to do a project, how to plan a project, how to release a project, how to install desk, how to install campaigns, like checklist. And obviously you get a direct line to our team as well. Feel free, check it out, Blue Inner Circle. We've got a promo on right now, lasting for the next month. Uh, check it out, you'll see some promo links and all of that below, see you in the video. All right, so let's get into it. For those of you that haven't watched my other video on blueprints, I'll give you a quick rundown of what they are. Best way to think of blueprints is, and Zoho defines it pretty well here, it's a way to design and implement a process that has to be followed by your staff within the CRM. It goes as far to have buttons that your staff will click, things will pop up, you can have scripts, you can have mandatory fields, you can have all kinds of stuff within it. Some of the benefits are number one, you can reduce, drastically reduce mistakes because now people have to follow a process. They have to enter certain data. Number two, you can scale up your team much quicker because once you have a process, you can just insert people into that process. They can pick it up much faster. That's why a lot of clients use it. It's a really powerful tool. In order to find it, you're going to hit the gear icon in settings. Then you're going to go to blueprint under process management. So that's where I am here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit create blueprint. And in this example, I'm going to create it in the leads module. You can create it wherever you want, basically. So I'm going to create it in leads, testing, YouTube, you have to name it something. Now, I'm not going to go through all of the ins and outs of, of a blueprint because I have another video that talks about that and we'll link it below. This is more so to talk about the parallel transition. So I'll go over a high level of how to build a blueprint, but I won't go as deep as that other video. So now we have this page, right? And so for those of you that know, you have states and you have transitions, right? And what Zoho has now done is typically in order to get from point A to point B, you would have one button to click. A transition in that transition so i'm going to call this transition just to show you here you would have one button to click so for example in this example you could hit phoned client or something and when you do that it will bring you from point a to point b it was a bit frustrating sometimes where what if there were multiple things you wanted to do or had to do to get to point b for example when you attempt to contact someone you want to then force your team to gather some information about the client and then also force someone else to do something maybe on a different team and then also force someone else to do something on a different team and so that's where this parallel transition comes in and so to go back here we're going to do this i'm going to get rid of attempted to contact and we're just going to pretend here that we talked to the key decision maker right and now we're going to bring a transition in and we're just going to call it gathered information right and now they have this new button to make it a parallel transition so when you do this it brings up this widget. And so now you can see there's multiple or parallel ways to get to talk, but you have to complete all these. So they're called sub transitions, right? So I can click here and I can go gather phone information, save, and you can assign it to certain users, which is really interesting. So for example, you could say, well, the record owner has to do this. And so during this, you can make them, for example, you make certain fields mandatory. So you make the phone and you can validate it if you want but you can make that mandatory. You can also make notes mandatory, right? And then in this one, maybe there's another sub transition to get to talk to key decision maker where it's gather sales intel. And in that transition, maybe you give it to someone else on your team. It doesn't have to be uh, the record owner. Maybe it's the sales guy or the sales manager or the accounting person. And in that transition, you can now say, well, during make notes mandatory again, and you're going to make them 
uh, create a task. This is just an example. So that's what these parallel transitions can do. And now you can think of the possibilities where you could have getting from point A to point B in a sales order example. Sales order status goes from open to pending. Well, in order to go to pending, you need the VP to fill in a few information. You need the salesperson to verify some information, et cetera, right? And so that's what this does here. So when I go ahead and hit publish, I'm gonna create a lead here, just to show you on the front end. So now I'm inside of a lead. We're gonna like play with the blueprint here. So here we go. This is what the blueprint will look like. So now I have this lead, gather phone information, click that. These are mandatory fields that'll pop up, right? And it's like, okay, get his phone number. Great. And then it does a little check mark here. So that's done. Now picture this. You could have this go to the salesperson or whatever in this demo account. I only have one user, but you could have this checked off and then this go to someone else. They go in here and they have to fill out a task, right? and save and now the blueprint's done in my example so it left the blueprint you can imagine all the mandatory things you can make throughout the process and now you could have multiple people filling them out that's essentially what parallel transitions are i'd encourage you to check them out as i mentioned in the intro feel free to reach out to us in the comments uh, we love hearing from you and also check out our community our inner we're going to be publishing things like this in their exclusive youtube videos and all kinds of stuff so we'd love to see you in there Hope you enjoyed the video.